Flat Earthers refuse to believe in the prevailing scientific opinion that the Earth is round. Does that also give them the ability to defy aerodynamics and be aerodynamic too? To find out, we have a Flat Earther here. He is donning the customary hat, which serves several purposes. The first is obviously a fashion statement with the flat disc on top symbolizing the flat earth, but the hat also stops others from reading his thoughts as well as concentrating his own powers. This plane goes vertically through the center of his body, and there are two distinct parts to this wake. The first is the very blue region behind his legs. The second is the greener and less severe wake behind his torso and hat. This view shows just how much the hat directs the flow down, and his wake is so chaotic. There are vortices popping up everywhere, particularly behind his legs. This video shows the vortices being shed off his shoulders, head, and most importantly, hat. It's really amazing how there are these two really long vortices being shed off the top of the hat, and they remain coherent really far downstream before breaking down. His shoulders create a lot of vortices as well, and we can see why by looking at this video, which shows how the streamlines travel over him. You can see how much the flow gets redirected and then flies over his shoulder. That's why we're getting so much vorticity here. Because the shoulders are so disruptive to the flow, I wanted to see this plane that slices through this region. Well, the wake blows out a lot and there are half a dozen vortices around. That is not great. From all of this, I can tell you that his drag coefficient is 1.23, which is really bad. But his lift coefficient is 0.09, which is pretty good. I think that's because of the hat. Man, I like that hat. 